Hello friends. Um, so I have a friend that wanted to see what my bike setup was as far as nutrition and hydration goes. So I have one big speed fill bottle on the bike frame and then the other one I have in my handlebars. It's a smaller version of a speed fill. And um, all I do is uh, look good nutrition on the bike because I can't swallow and chew and breathe at the same time. Um, and I also am rather clumsy, so I um, then don't have to worry about opening packaging, trying to put it in my jersey, and trying not to litter, dropping things, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this has saved me a lot of stress as far as um, not having to drop things or having to reach things goes. So um, here is what I do when I got my... Um, package uh, for the big speed fill. Um, you'll have to cut the straw um, to your size, basically. Um, I'm short, my bike is tiny, um, and so my straw needs to be cut. Um, I'll show you what my, the cut looks like. So it slides around, but you can see I cut it at an angle, okay? Um, you can see what my, this is my nutrition bottle on the handlebars, and I'll show it again in a minute. Um, so that's when you need to cut it. Um, so I always cut it at an angle. You'll just have to figure out how you want to thread it, because you're going to want to thread it from the, the hole here, and it has to go up to here, and you'll have to know exactly how far away you want that straw from your face when you're riding. Okay, so what I do before, when I'm threading uh, the straw into the reservoir, I always take the, the top off. Um, and this is hard for me to film and do this at the same time and try. So putting it in. There um, is a natural curve to the straw. Actually, I should probably show you. So the natural curve to the straw for this, like like that, you're going to want that downward shape of that straw to face downwards into your reservoir. Because um, if your straw is facing upwards, um, you could have almost a full bottle of water and not be able to drink it at all because your straw has turned upside down or it's already turned upside down. So you want to make sure that it has that natural curve downwards. So you're going to thread it in. So then I also make sure Okay, so I kind of see that it's in there. So here is if the the water bottle straw is curved upwards. See how it doesn't even go into the, the bottom there? It just kind of curves upward. I feel like I'm doing like a colonoscopy or something. But, um, but so you want to make sure that straw is on the base. Oops. Okay. And then what you want to do is test it. So you're going to test to with by uh, moving your handlebars left and right. So you're going to go left and right a couple times, especially in transition if you're um, um, putting this together in transition. And check to see, did the straw move? Did it move in a funky way? Did it move out of position? Um, no, we're good. So we want to leave the straw as is. Um, we can put the, the reservoir top back on. Okay, so well, on my nutrition bottle, I have what I call like the fuzzy side of Velcro on my bottle. And I do this for a couple of reasons. Well, actually one reason is um, just so that my bottle doesn't launch out of my um, setup. Um, so I have this setup here you can kind of see. Um, and it's kind of, kind of MacGyver, Jimmy rigged. I kind of do that with all of my things because nothing is really my size. Um, so I have two Velcro straps on here. One is only has, it's just one sided. This is just um, scratchy side. 
I think this came actually with the speed fill. And this one is a um, giant strap that I actually use for um, um, the changing of my bike uh, tire or inner tube. Um, if you want to see the video that I made, um, I use this. But anyway, so this comes in handy because I use this too. If, if in case that I, I don't know, misplace this, that's all that was supposed to be on my inner tube, then I can just take this off and use it. But anyway, so what I do, because otherwise the, 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 the straws just kind of hang in there. So I position it so that, of course, it's sitting up. And then I use my big Velcro strap. And now I use the soft side against the uh, insulation, the black insulation, um, so that the soft side won't catch the insulation. And, and if I'm turning, um, it won't move the the straw as much. It'll just slip and slide with the soft side. And then I have to, so you can see here that I've using the soft side. This is the scratchy side. And then I'm going to twist it again. So it'll look like this. It's not ideal, but this is what I do and it works for me. And then I thread it in. If I can get do this with one and a half hands. Okay. So I just tighten it on like that. And then I actually put it around my bottle. So, so that this is pretty safe. It, my bottle won't move. But just in case I have a second one. Um, so here's the second one. I also thread it on the handlebar back bottle cage holder. So here's, here's that. Um, yeah, there we go. So there's that. And so I'm really just for safety for myself so that I don't lose my nutrition and safety for the people around me and behind me so that I don't cause any bottles to drop and people won't get hurt because my bottle um, caused them to have an accident, which happens. So there it is. So my bottle here is very, very uh, on tight. Um, that's my setup. So you can see what the... Velcro strap situation looks like. Okay. And this is how it's tucked in. And generally for Iron Man, what I put in here is, for me, um, I usually do a half Iron Man and bike in about three hours. So I put three hours worth of nutrition in here. And if I'm doing a full Iron Man, I would... Um, switch out the full bottle um either switch out the whole bottle actually i don't do that i actually have a um, throwaway bottle in special needs with another three hours worth of nutrition and then i use that bottle to just shove it in here um, and refill my nutrition in special needs that way and that's about another um, I do another three, it's just a three hours worth of nutrition in there. And then um, I have extra gels in my um, jersey or tri kit just in case I need uh, more calories and the bike is taking a lot longer than I thought. Um, so there it is. If you have any questions, let me know. Hope this was helpful. Thanks. Bye.